you know, I kind of really like this. It, it was really well written, and it was about Tesla versus Waymo, and and basically the battle for self driving. Uh, the title is How Tesla and Waymo Are Tackling a Major Problem for Self Driving Cars. Guess what? Data. Yep, that's right. That's the answer, as we knew. Um, and it's a really long article. I'll, I'll summarize a little bit of it here, um, and also you know talk about kind of my thoughts overall. So. Um, Data, as I've said before, is kind of the answer here to self-driving cars because a self-driving car is based on machine learning and neural networks and these kind of things, which are basically need data to do anything. Otherwise, they're, they're kind of pointless. Um, and this all goes back to ImageNet, uh, which I think was a competition or that was you know uh, released in 2012 during a competition to help identify um, objects in pictures. So object recognition, one of the first problems or one of the things in computer vision. Um, so in any event, um, I, I think this is great. Uh, from this article, a quote that, that, that I thought really was just kind of hit the nail on the head was uh, that there's also a huge financial incentive to apply all this data-driven tech to the roads as quickly as possible. Intel believes autonomous vehicles could generate $800 billion per year in revenue in 2030 and $7 trillion per year by 2050. Last summer, Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas, who you guys may, may know, said in a note that data might be more valuable to Tesla than something like the Model 3. Uh, that, is, that is my point exactly. Um, that is exactly what my, my video I did a couple weeks ago titled Autopilot Should Be Free was arguing, that the data itself that Tesla collects is is going to be more valuable than any of these other assets because once they're able to really hit level four and level five autonomy and do things like the Tesla network, then that is going to that may even be their biggest revenue stream um, going forward from then on. Now, um, Tesla is already collecting data from its cars. That is true. There's something known as shadow mode, um, and even just recently, the up, latest update to the Model Three talked about this, but. The thing that, that is, is crazy to me is that the data isn't as valuable if somebody's not actually using autopilot. Now, I've worked in this industry for a long time, not in self-driving, but in data. And the deal is, is that you want as much real-world behavioral data as possible. The qualitative data, like, how, hey, how was it? That's somewhat useful, but the real world data of like what somebody actually did, how a system actually performed, those things are the most, th those are the most valuable types of data that you can acquire. So if you want to act, absolutely maximize the value of the data and, and uh, acquire as much of it as possible, my, my suggestion to Tesla is to make autopilot free. And, and I went into it deeply in, in a video there. Now, the interesting thing about that uh, about this article was that it painted kind of how Waymo is doing it differently. And Waymo has a far smaller fleet, uh, only 500 to 600 uh, self-driving minivans um, compared to Tesla's over 300,000 vehicles. Uh, and what they're doing is using computer simulation to generate the miles driven. So, you know, they'll say they have X number billion miles um, driven, this and that. But uh, again, I, I think this totally works. It's a valid strategy, but I don't believe it's it's as accurate or as valuable as real world data. Now, also, Waymo has a lot more sensors on their vehicles. They have lidar and all these other kind of things. And there's all this tech that's coming in. So this is a really kind of nascent industry right now. Uh, data, as The Verge kind of made the point here, is the most valuable thing and is the path forward because of the underlying the foundational technology or technique. Um, is machine learning, which without data is, is, isn't much. So uh, this made me think of a new quote, uh, one we've used in the data industry for a long time now. We say that data is the new oil. I want to add to that by saying data is the new oil, except more valuable. Um, as you can see, data powers almost every smart or AI type system that, that you know exists today. Uh, and it's just going to get more and more important and more and more valuable. So with that, I would love to know what you guys think about this. This is a really well-read article. It's, it's a bit long, as I mentioned. Um, I'll put a link to it down in the description.